What's up guys, my name is Luke from Archer Woods, Style Consultancy and Premier Menswear Store. Today I want to show off one of my favourite pieces from probably one of my favourite brands right now. So actually I'll, I'll just show you. So this should give you a little clue. And Anglo-Italian, we have done a video on them previously and I've, we've got a couple of new pieces in store. So at the moment, as I say, they are one of my favourite brands because they've got such a strong signature style. Their suits, their blazers especially, have a very uh, unique look about them, a very unique cut. So, and this, this piece is no different. So we'll have a look at this. So we'll also go onto their website as well and their Instagram, just to see what they're up to at the moment, just to see what's going on this time of year. So it's sort of summer season down at Anglo Italian. So let's have a look at this. We'll do a little unzipping. So anyone who's followed me for a little while will know that I'm a huge fan of brown tailoring, especially at the moment, uh, which makes it harder for me for, to let things like this go. But let's check it here. So it looks a little bit lighter from what I can see on the screen. So, so this is a blazer in linen. It's kind of like a mid brown color. It's a check with a, if you can see there. So it's kind of like a house tooth um, green and brown check, if you can see right there. So I'll try it on for you now. It's not tailored to me, so please be aware of that. Like it's not gonna fit me perfectly, but I'll show you. It should give you a good idea of just what they're kind of looking. So I always have to fold the sleeves up because my arms are short. So I'll put all the dimensions in the product page. So I'll put that in the description. But uh, this is a size uh, UK 30HS, Italian 40HS, and it is pretty, um, I'd say it, it, it's true to size, maybe a little bit on the larger size. So I fit either a 38, but mostly a 40. So this fits me okay, there's enough room. So I would say um, if I'm on the 40 size, it's a 38, I think maybe it's just leaning towards the larger side. But yeah, the reason I love Anglo Italian is first of all, it's their shoulder structure. They're, they're, they have a very sloping shoulder, which I know not everyone likes, it's not to their preference, but I'm a, I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, I just feel it adds a little bit of um, a casual layer to the outfit that you don't normally get with something more structured. Um, even with some blazers that have, uh, have no structure to it, they don't seem to sort of slope down just that much. Um, there's a really nice, the sleeves, are kind of like the perfect sort of width. They're not, they're not baggy at all, and they're not skinny. And I, that's what I just find with this. It's a very contemporary way of doing classic tailoring. So the lapels as well, these notch lapels, really lovely size, um, like perfect proportions. Uh, and again, that's that's what I feel like they do ideally. Um, so they've got it's got a good length to the jacket. And the colour as well, it's just, it's just a really lovely colour. I haven't really thought about pairing this today. Um, it's a bit hot, so I've just worn a t-shirt, but this is a Sunspell t-shirt and some Tom Sweeney seersucker trousers. But I would, I mean, you, this with navy goes really well, I feel, but also it can go with lighter colours, like a white shirt underneath, or like um, if you're trying to pair patterns, like a thinner um, striped shirt would work. Also jeans and a t-shirt works really well. And we'll go on to their Instagram and their owner's uh, Instagram as well. So Jake Edward Grantham is the owner. He wears their clothes pretty much all the time. So I always find it interesting how brands are, obviously, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but they're a mirror reflection of their owner. So we looked at husbands previously with Nicholas Gabbard and um, with Jake as well, like the clothes are made for them. Like they're clearly scratching their own itch and what they like, and that's the way to do it. It's a project of passion, so you should make clothes how you want to wear them. Uh, and I think that's what he does really well. He worked, he, so we'll look at his Instagram in a second. Uh, we'll look at the website, um, but yeah, this is in store now currently um, for 600 pounds. And uh, these normally go retail around about 1,000, 1,100. So a significant amount off if you're to buy it new. Uh, it's in really good condition. And um, for 600 pounds, I think it's it shows a lot of value as well. Like these things are made to last. Uh, it's perfect for this time of year, especially in London actually, where you get this kind of like changeable weather. It's a good weight of linen. So it's not overly light, but it's not too heavy and thick as well. So it's really good for 
uh, just those sort of summery cool evenings moving into autumn as well. So that's the blazer, but what we'll do now is we'll have a look at their website and just see what they're up to right now. See you in the back. All right guys, welcome back. Okay, here we are, angloitalian.com. Um, I haven't been on this website for a little while, so it has definitely changed from the last time I saw it. Um, they're quite prolific in the way they put out um, imagery and lookbooks. So, and they're very simple as well. And I, so we'll have a look at what they've come up with recently. Um, but we'll start off with their about page. Right, so here they are. Um, there's Jake in the middle, uh, and the, there's Jake at the bottom second left. So Angular Italian is tailoring focused menswear brand based in London. Uh, we design wearable clothing without fuss, fustiness, fustiness is not a word that I know. We would design wearable clothing without fustiness and without gimmick, inspired by the tailoring culture of England and Italy. Uh, Anglo-Italian presents a point of view for our times, classicism that is relevant. We strive to produce garments the authentic way, partnering with workshops, mills and factories operated by people we have the utmost admiration for. We pride ourselves on designing the entirety of our universe from clothing, from cloth to clothing, footwear to luggage, reworking, revisiting, and reviving a roster of garments each season. Produced as custom commissions, small batches, or core items offered year round. Anglo Italian does not wholesale or discount. We charge what we deem is fair for garments that we endure. We recognize that few modern consumers dress purely to navigate a range of dress codes across the week and weekend, and focus instead on producing tasteful, wearable, and conservative clothing. Ambition is to become a byline for independent retail that represents quality, value, design, and community. Our commitment to our customers is our brick and mortar store where all of our, where all are welcome. Manned by knowledgeable people and visited by patrons who allow us to do what we believe in. Jay Grantham. Um, very strong mission statement there. Like a very matter of fact and like clear, this is what we're here for, this is what we're doing. Not overly guffy, like look, they have to. I mean, I haven't updated my website sort of uh, blurb in ages. And it's just one of those, those things you have to add stuff that is like a bit cringy. This is okay. This isn't on the cringy side. This is strong. This is like, boom, boom, boom. This is what we're doing. We're going to make some pretty damn good clothes for people that are pretty no nonsense. And we're going to do it in, an, in a good way, in a fair way and in of good materials. And yeah, so I like it. It's strong. And that kind of, if you look at the photo as well, that's what comes across also, like business, um, black and white, business, photo, very corporate in a way, which that's the look to go for. I personally would like some a little bit more uh, warmer, maybe, but you can see this is, they've, they've clearly got what they're set out for. And if, you know, you have to look at what their clear, their clientele is as a whole. And whether that fits in with that so it might be more for the business guys for the um people that are a bit more no nonsense and serious so serious start not necessarily a bad thing but just maybe something i'd like to see a little bit more play home page italian tailoring english palette nice that's that's nice and size and it's pretty much what it's about so first up we've got these two images, uh, I've got a double-breasted suit with those recently. I've just got it back from the tailors. And it's similar to this one, this guy's got here. Smaller the smaller the lapels though. Peak lapels were smaller. Um, things to notice here, like, the, the little, it, this is what I like about them, the little details. The, the, obviously the shoulders we've spoken about before, the tie knot size to the tie, the elongated, el elongated shirt collar, the pointed collar. Just nice little bits to draw your eye here and there. But simple, grey grey suit. Um, the next one, the shirting page here, we've got this, looks like a linen blazer, some high-rise white sort of jeans, I think, and some a really lovely blue sort of like, look, what looks like a linen shirt. Here are their shirts. So I've bought, um, pre-owned a couple of their shirts now, so I've got this really lovely blue linen one and this cotton uh, white and blue striped one, which is absolutely lovely. What I like about them most is the uh, the collar size is fantastic. It's kind of like an oversized pointy collar, obviously a button down. Uh, so this this is the navy one, I think here. So these go for as goes for 175 pounds. Uh, I got mine free owned for 60, but you see them often go for 100. Uh, so I was quite lucky in the one I got. So you know, not too far off what they're selling for pre owned. Uh, 
brand new, 175 pounds. Um, I, I can really vouch for them as well. They're they're really nice. Um, these t-shirts, I haven't seen, haven't played with the t-shirts. 60 pound for a t-shirt. It's not the worst in the world. It's a lot for a t-shirt, but it's not. I've definitely seen more expensive from from brands. If you think of like Reese um, and that level of brands, which is certainly a, a lower, a more fast fashiony sort of level. Um, that's same. To not far off. Then we've got these sport coats. Um, is this similar to the one we're showing off now? Uh, linen pads. So yeah, say so 1,100 pounds. They go, they go for new. Let's have a look when you go into the product page. Just shows open. So these are made by hand in Italy which is, you know, there's some serious work that goes into this and some real um, attention. Spare can meet your sleeves, head and unpadded shoulder. Lovely. Their color palette's really interesting as well. They keep a very muted, like, a very earth tony palette. Browns, greens, a lot of greens. Fill shirts are nice. 245 pounds so good like the prices aren't terrible for a high-end um brand like the prices aren't insane it's kind of like wintry stuff now shoes so they've done like a they've got like crockett and jones stuff which is a really um a historic shoemaker here in london um so i can't see this like i think they're just i don't know there is a anglo italian if you see here um sort of mix up so these are like tassel loafers nice 520 um 520 540 let's see what crockett and jones how much they cost at crockett and jones 540 so they're at 450 it's on the high end definitely on the high end so the trousers as well, um, lovely high rise to them, side fasteners, just a real classic trouser. Um, they, what I like about them, they're not overly, there's like, say, say like a single pleat or something with them, they're not overly uh, roomy around the sort of crotch area. So they're, they, keep, they keep their slimness to them, they're not like over these sort of baggy pantaloons. Um, they've got a nice size to them. These are really nice, these sort of crew neck jumpers. Uh, they are on the pricey sides. I haven't had a chance to have one, like to fill one yet. Uh, we've got a wool uh, one in store. I think it just sold. Um, really lovely material, really nice soft material. Uh, I do have a little, so I have seen a lot on the pre-air market, the polos, and I've seen a lot of them that have shrunk. So there's a lot of people saying that um, they they say it's a large and now it's a medium. So that happens, I see that quite regularly. So I don't know if that's an older issue they've had because obviously they're pre-owned. I'm seeing sort of like maybe a couple of years down the line or if it's a, it's a common thing now. So if anyone does know, drop a comment. But they are, um, they look nice. I like their proportions again. It's really nice, like a nice big collar to them. And um, I really love softness and soft look to them. So here we're the, with the more classic suits. Single breasted suit, single breasted navy high -rise. So is this a full? Yeah, so a full suit, suit and trousers, single breasted um, navy suit, 1,450 pounds. So yeah, it's, 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 it's on the high end for sure. Um, these are just more like, yeah, just got like classic stuff. And yeah, so this is this is with the shirt I've got, this um, uh, OCBD one. I definitely recommend if you if you have the opportunity to, to go for one of these. Their jeans, their jeans are really nice as well, like a nice high rise to them. And they just keep, everything's really simple. Simple colors, denim shirts. How much we? 185 for a denim shirt. Uh, I've not had the chance to see them in the flat in the in the flesh. Yeah. Oops. So you don't really get any more doll photos, I don't think. No, 
So we'll just breeze through this. But yeah, the denim is cool. I've got a pair of their jeans and um, yeah, they look a really nice high rise to them. Unfortunately, I bought them. I was really keen to get them and it was a size, so I'm a 32 waist. I think I bought a 34, got the tailors to take them in. Not quite right. It was maybe a bit too much to bring in on the on the jeans. So they, they look great, but they're just that little bit off for me. Uh, these cashmere ones are lovely. These are really nice. £235 for a cashmere. That's more around what you'd normally see. And then they've got this made to measure. Um, let's have a look at that. So you can get a made to order suit for 1250 in cotton or linen or 1450 in wool. So yeah, I mean, what you'd be paying for it um, ready to made, you, you can get one made to order. Shirt is just a little bit more, 195 pounds. Like they are, they're what, 175? So just that little bit more, you can get it made to order. Oh, sorry, made to order, not made to measure. Made to measure. 1750, uh, shirt 230. So another 50 or quid more. And then bespoke. 3,500 pounds for bespoke. It's nice that they give all these offerings. Like you can really, if you like, you know, from having something off the off the rack to a full bespoke service, you've got the choice. So it fits in with whatever you can afford. Um, they provide the full service. You can sell. They've got the expertise. Um, and yeah, like I could, could never begrudge someone going for the full bespoke service if you can. Uh, there's stores. Just I've only been to the one in Weymouth Street, so they've got one in Marylebone Street as well. I know that. So what we'll do, actually, what we'll do now is we'll go to the Instagram page. Here you can see they've got some good layouts. They do their well, which is, I think these sort of um, uh, flat layouts are really good for ideas in terms of putting outfits together. So if you have a Pinterest board, which I always recommend you guys have, if you see something you like, and even if it's just a color um, palette that you like, add it, add it on for sure. These are, these are really great to have. And then we've got these. But you can see, okay, so you can see here with these suits, you, what I mean about the shoulders, the, the, the sloping shoulders, and for, that is a real, it's something that is just that little bit, seems to be that little bit more with Anglo-Italian. So I'd, I don't know the, the technical details of that and how that's done. So it's something I could look to find out a bit more about. Um, but for me, if you see this suit here, it's very sloping down to his shoulders. I don't know if they just have that armhole lower so they have a softer shoulder and they extend it a little bit more and then their armhole but then I, I don't know if it would fit it looked like it fit if it, if it was like that so yeah something i need to find out bac simple photography i would like to see a little bit more color and a little bit more vibe to it to be honest there's a lot of black and white it's a nice photography and I think as individual still images um, they're just like simple and nice ones they show off the clothes well I think that's the most important thing but I would like to see a little bit more more colour and I think actually if you think about their clothes they don't do colour which is fine I'm not you know bright colours or even pastels and things like that I'm not a big lover of anyway but I think that they it does seem like a lot of these are um there's a lot of gray involved there's a lot of gray and i don't i think there's a, there could be a balance with a, something a little bit more vibrant um and that's just in terms of look of like a lookbook yeah their double breasted suits are definitely a favorite of mine i haven't worn my one yet pretty excited So this is uh, Jake and what we'll do actually, so you can get, you get the idea. It's kind of the same sort of stuff, uh, product, photography. The shorts are quite nice. For like smart shorts, yeah, I quite like them. Yeah, okay, so what we'll do lastly, so like this, just as a simple lane, lane flat, like a short and polo shirt idea with some boat shoes, simple 
but just gives you that idea to keep if you've got a pinterest board just kick it um just something to save just see if you ever stop for something to wear you can just refer to it but yeah let's go to jake's finally his instagram i think this is more interesting because you get to see the first of all the clothes on someone uh his outfit choices uh, definitely something more interesting and something I'm, I'll need to consider more when I'm doing my Instagram as well because I, at the moment, just for time reasons, haven't been able to do that more that many um, shots of just like clothes and being out and about and stuff. It's, at the moment, it's something I definitely need to consider and improve on. Um, look at this. This must be at like pity or something. Beautiful slow suit. See again with the shoulders and it might be something to do with the lapel as well that this the shape it's just such a beautiful shape to it it's almost like an art deco -y, uh ornament it just it looks fantastic the silhouette is it's lovely and mixed with that elongated pointy collar as well which is it's great and this is the sort of classic look this is sort of like the high-rise trousers the sport coat uh, look at that the length from that jacket as well like just really beautiful um and that extra big collar on that shirt they're just it's such a simple outfit but just those little details can really make it that something different um so yeah i'm a big fan of that one of these came up on instagram this tux recently for 600 pounds i was so tempted but it's like how often do you wear a tux yeah they're, they're denim if, you, if you're interested in jeans and you're looking for something that these are a, these are a great shout as well that's nice oh, i want that that's what i want a double-breasted brown suit that's what I want as well. I'm obsessed with brown at the moment. But yeah, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a look at Anglo Italian. I think we get a good idea of like what they're about, what they're, uh, the clothes they make. Very, very purposely made items in a uh, silhouette and structure that is their signature. And I think it, it works really well. Um, definitely one of my favorite brands right now. And um, yeah, I'm sad to see this go. But if you are interested, yeah, do check out archrimmers.com. Uh, also, guys, if you're interested in style consultancy, I do offer anything from like a one-on-one -on -one online session uh, to like a full sort of like styling up wardrobe overhaul uh, service. So uh, yeah, check out archwoods.com for that and press the little style consultancy tab. So yeah, drop a comment below if you if there's any other brands you want me to sort of go through. Let me know what you think of Anglo Italian as well. If you are interested in any of the items in store, do get in touch. Hello at archwoods.com. Please remember to like and subscribe and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Cheers.